have part two of my forward crossovers tutorial. This one's a little bit more advanced with nice long pushes rather than pumping. Let me show you what that's gonna look like. Push, cross, these nice long pushes and crosses through instead of just a little toe lift. Let me break this one down for you. Okay, so the more advanced crossover is made up of two positions. Each position has a push. The first position, um, we're gonna push with our outside leg. Once again, our body is rotated into the circle, so our outside hand is in front, inside hand is to the back. I'm gonna bend my knees and then just push with my outside leg using my inside edge. If you were skating in a box, if you can imagine yourself being in a box, your foot is gonna push to the back corner of the box. Let me show you that again. So your foot does not push straight back, but it pushes to the back corner of your box. So it's kind of at a diagonal. I want you to try um, doing these around the circle over and over and over again, getting yourself some strength, getting your outside hand again rotated in, bend your knees, push to the outside of your box using your inside edge and being sure not to push with the toe pick. So that is the first part of this crossover. The second part of this crossover is a push under. Now in my last crossover tutorial, I had you working on lifting through your toe pick. This is gonna help build strength to do this move in the more advanced crossover. So if you haven't practiced it that way, I suggest you go back to that video, work on that toe lift, and then come back to this more advanced lesson. Now to break this down, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push out with the first foot, like I just showed you, back out to that corner. You're gonna cross your foot over and then the the foot on the inside of the circle is gonna push under and through, pushing off your inside edge and lifting that toe up. Now there's a great exercise that you can do that is beautiful on its own, but it helps develop this undercut position. It's actually called an undercut spiral. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go around the circle, you're gonna cross your outside leg over, lean into the circle and extend that foot through. We call that an undercut spiral. It's really pretty. You can actually get really low with it, um, really stretch it out, but for now it's a great exercise to help you with your crossovers. For this undercut spiral position, you're gonna cross that outside leg over and stretch that inside leg as far as you can to the side, keeping the foot flexed and pushed forward so that your feet are in a parallel position, but just reversed. You're also gonna take your arms and stretch them out and lean to the inside, kind of like an airplane, so you get a nice balance between your extended foot and your extended hand. Okay, so we have our two positions, our push to the outside and our push under. We're just gonna connect those together and we'll have a beautiful advanced crossover. It's gonna look like this. So you have our hands rotated onto the circle, outside hand in front, inside hand to the back. We're gonna bend down, push to that inside edge, push to the back corner, cross over and hit that undercut spiral position. Push, cross over and push through, push out, cross over and push through. And here you have a nice crossover using your inside edge on the out push and the outside edge on the under push. for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Of course, I always look forward to reading your comments below. If you enjoyed it, please do give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.